Hey everyone, Brian with flightdash.io. Uh, let's take a look at setting up custom config files, uh, which will save you a lot of time loading your settings each time you use the application. So let's start by, uh, once we're at flightdash.io, we're gonna go ahead and click open app. We're gonna agree to the terms here before using, and we're gonna go up to settings. So if this is your first time using flightdash.io, you're going to see a screen exactly like this. You know, you're going to have your um, blank slate, basically. So let's kind of go through. We're not going to import a config file because we don't have one yet. Um, our METAR source for weather, by default, it's always set to aviation weather gov. Um, if you are using VATSIM, then I recommend switching this over to the VATSIM network METAR source so that you can get the live uh, weather data from the VATSIM network. Um, for my purposes, uh, I'll just leave it to aviationweather.gov. Uh, SimBrief pilot ID. Um, so this, we will, in our knowledge base, we'll have a guide on how to get this. But basically, you would go ahead and enter in your SimBrief pilot ID um, from um, SimBrief itself. So bear with me one moment here. I am actually just going to open that up. I just need to find it off screen here. Just give me one moment. Okay. Here's my pilot ID. I'll enter that in. Um, also, if you're going to be using our AI features for um, cabin crew announcements, you would enter in your open AI API key here. It can't be used without it, so it is a requirement. Um, I'm going to skip that for this video, but if you did want to take advantage of that feature, I will also have a guide in our knowledge base showing you how exactly to set up an account and get that, um, get that API key so that you can add it here. And then lastly, our checklist bundle. So by default, um, it's empty. We do also have a default Airbus A320 checklist, um, which is really just kind of things that we've put together from different YouTube videos and other flight simmers and things like that. So it may not even be like an accurate A320 checklist that you'd want to use, but there is one there to start with by default if you wanted to. Um, if you leave it blank, you can go to customize checklist bundle, which we'll actually do right now. And this is one of the main reasons why you'd want to save a config file. Um, so let's just say maybe I'm flying something different. Let's say, you know, it's a Cessna 172 checklist. This is what I want to name my checklist that I'd want to use going forward. Oops, I actually just clicked off of that. Let me go back to settings. There we go. Um, and then we're going to have these options to create our checklist. So I'm going to kind of breeze through this pretty quickly. We do have another video on setting up a custom checklist. So I'm just going to kind of get some information entered in here quickly. Um, so check tires. Let's also say we want to check wings. Um, flaps set for takeoff in flight, um, flaps up, landing, throttle down. I am really just doing random things here. I clicked off again. There we go. Um, and then for each of these, I'm just going to leave these to the default. We're going to add a check response here. And let's do the same for each of these. So as you can see, you know, you you could spend quite a bit of time creating one of these by custom. So once you do that, you really don't want to be losing it. Um, so we'll leave it like that. Let's just say this is our custom checklist. Um, let me save and close. So now I'm configured to use my checklist. If I went into checklist here, you can see I have my different checklist items here and I can use them. Um, if I click on check tires checklist. And then, yeah, we can go ahead. Check. Check tires checklist complete. Yep. So this is actually for an actual checklist and then you'd have specific items. And I actually, I did that a little bit differently. I did it by the, the items themselves, but you get the picture. Um, so let's just say, you know, I made one and now I want to save this so I can use it again. Well, the easiest thing you're going to do, uh, and it's also going to save this configuration up here too. So your METAR source, your SimBrief pilot ID, if you have an open AI API key, 
um, all of those things so that you don't need to be manually configuring this every time you load the application. Um, we're going to go ahead and export the config file. And for me, I've done it a few times. It named it flight dash config uh, parentheses 13 dot JSON. So that is just going to be a file that's going to be saved um, to your machine. You want to put that in a safe location so that you can use it again. Um, let me refresh this now. So let's say this is a couple days later. I'm doing a flight. I want to use that same checklist, but it's gone. Um, it's obviously not there anymore. We actually, we don't save user accounts or anything, anything like that to make this as simple as possible, not storing your data or anything like that. Anything you want to save, you keep on your local machine and you can load it in. Um, so we're going to choose file now. And right in my downloads is where I, I would probably put it somewhere else, but right now it's in my downloads. I'm going to go ahead and open that up, that file. And we can see, um, we can see my SimBrief pilot ID got generated there. Um, we didn't have an open AI API key, so that's fine. That's blank. And then when I go to customize the checklist bundle, we can see that it pre-filled everything exactly the way that it was. And when we go to our checklists, everything's back here ready for us to use. Um, so that's a quick overview on how to use the config files. Um, you can save, you know, if you have multiple checklists, you can save different files for each of your checklists too. So let's say maybe I want to do another checklist for a different aircraft. You can repeat the same process, export it, and then just rename the file to something else. Um, once it's saved, you can name it to whatever you want. As long as this .json extension is still there and you, you're not manually editing the file itself, it'll work. So I could rename this file <clears throat> um, Cessna 172 config file dot json or, or however you want to do that naming convention um okay so that's a quick overview on saving config files thank you everyone for watching